to the Parker Porch Party Series sponsored by Xfinity Colorado Day. My name is Brooke and I am the Special Events and Sponsorship Coordinator with the Town of Parker. We are excited to have you join us today. I would like to thank our Parker Porch Party Decoration Sponsors, Parker Party America, for decking this awesome decor. It is my pleasure to introduce my coworker and partner in crime, Ryan. Ryan and I will be your live host throughout tonight's party. Take it away, Ryan. Hello, everyone. I am the town's digital marketing coordinator. We're so excited to spend part of Colorado Day with you today. And first off, a very, very, very happy 144th birthday to our great state. Once again, we have a fantastic lineup of entertainment for you tonight. Before we jump in, we wanted to give a quick shout out to Pensive Court and East Wiley Place, who were in the top two spots of our Porch Party Series Grand Prize giveaway coming into this evening. Will either of those streets win the grand prize block party or might another street uh, walk away with the victory after tonight? We'll just have to wait and see. Speaking of winners, a special shout out to our July 4th porch party winners. Congratulations to the Rottweiler family for winning the mayor's challenge and the winners of the individual porch party photo contest challenge was the Steven family. We've had so much fun seeing all of the porch party photos you all have turned in throughout the series this summer. Now let's take a look at some of the fun that you've had and the photos that you've sent in as we hear a special porch party song from Jolly Demas. out, the weather's warm, it's time to get outside. I'm feeling fine, it's summertime, I'm glad to be alive. The Parker Porch Party is back again. Time to say hello to all my Parker friends. Parker Porch Party is back again. Time for us to have some fun, get outside in the summer sun. Time for us to come together again. Now that we're all in the spirit, let's party. Throughout tonight's show, we would love to hear from you in the comments on the live. Tuning in from tonight and give a shout out to your neighborhood in the comments and stay alert for more interactive questions and opportunities as we move along. Now let's hand things over to our very own Colorado enthusiast, Parker Mayor Mike Wade. Hey Parker, it's Mayor Mike Wade and Sasquatch coming to you from my porch. I'm really excited to introduce this week's Mayor's Porch Party Challenge to you. Now before we get started, let's go over a few of the guidelines. They'll also be posted on the town's Facebook page for easy reference. So number one, to enter, complete the challenge and take a photo of the finished product. One photo allowed per entry, no videos please. When you're done with that, send the photo along with your street address to bspain at parkeronline.org. That's B-S-P-A-I-N at parkeronline.org. Send it by 6.30 p.m. the night of the party. Your street address is really important because the block with the most participation through the first four porch parties will win a block party organized by the town on August 22nd. Now, entries will be published in a gallery on the town's Facebook page Monday morning for a public vote. The entry with the most likes by noon the following Thursday after each party will win the prize and be recognized during the next Porch Party broadcast. So, okay, are you ready for this week's challenge? Here we go. Today's challenge, use at least five things from your house, your yard, or garage Use your creativity and create the best 
Colorado same. Now you need to incorporate one item that represents Colorado outdoors. I don't know, just saying. One item that represents Colorado sports, one item that represents Parker, and two other items. Just remember, turn it in by 6.30 p.m. tonight to bspain at parkeronline.org. This week's prize is a solo stove courtesy of the Outdoor Channel and Xfinity. Now, on your marks, ready Sasquatch? On your marks, get set, go! Have fun, and we'll see you at the next porch party. Thanks, Mayor Wade. The porch party series would not be possible without our amazing partners and friends from Xfinity. Xfinity has been a dedicated and cherished partner with the town of Parker for many years. And when they heard about this series, they not only wanted to sponsor, but they wanted to help bring in more sponsors. A special shout out to Heather and all our friends at Xfinity. Here's an announcement from our wonderful partners introducing our individual Porch Party contest. Hi, I'm Nick Jimenez with Xfinity. And on behalf of our entire team, I wanna say how excited we are to be sponsoring Parker's Porch Party series. At Xfinity, connecting you to the moments and experiences that matter most is at the heart of what we do. Now more than ever, it's critical to stay connected to our communities, whether that's through reliable home internet and secure Wi-Fi hotspots, or through virtual events like this. Xfinity is here to ensure our neighborhoods have instant access to the things that matter most, anywhere and anytime. Now for the fun part, the contest and prize details. Each week, the town of Parker is going to announce a porch party theme via social media, and it's your turn to get creative. Your party can be as simple as a family picnic, or you can go all out with a front porch fiesta, including decorations. Just make sure you take a picture or video and you submit it to B Spain. That's B S P A I N at parkeronline.org by 8 a.m. on the following Monday to be entered into the contest. Each week, one lucky family is going to win an exclusive at home chef experience brought to you by Xfinity, where a local chef is going to host a virtual private cooking class just for you and your household. But don't worry, Team Xfinity is going to coordinate all the details and get you the groceries. One more thing though, when you submit your picture, let us know what street you live on because the most involved neighbors are going to win a grand prize block party. We hope you enjoy this fun series brought to you by the town of Parker and Xfinity. At Xfinity, we're all about making your life simple, easy, and awesome. I think this is a pretty awesome way to stay connected this summer. Now I want to introduce our entertainers, Gary and Carolyn, who have a fun cooking segment to show us. Thank you, Parker. Stay safe and have fun. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Parker Porch Party. Say that three times fast, right? Especially after having a couple of these cocktails I'm about to show you. The first thing I'm going to show you how to make is a peach bourbon smash. One beautiful Palisade peach from Palisade, Colorado. And cut it in half, slice and chunk. And you're just going to put that in the glass. To that, we're going to add a couple of little sprigs of mint, fresh mint. And we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of simple syrup. Now simple syrup is nothing fancy. It's equal amounts of sugar and water. You boil it on the stove until it becomes clear, stirring as you go. Now what I'm doing here is I am muddling and what I'm doing is I'm bringing out the flavors, especially in the mint. Next. We're going to add a scoop of ice. Go. And then we are going to add one and a half ounces, or two if you prefer, of your favorite bourbon. I just pre-measured mine, just to make it easier. And then you're gonna top it off with ginger ale or club soda garnish and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You're gonna love it. Our next drink is a Colorado peach 
sunrise. Now we're gonna start with three cups of frozen peaches. To this, we're going to add a half a cup of that simple syrup. And then we're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of fresh lemon. I have a half, about a half a lemon in here. And then to that, we're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of rum extract. Now this is just a flavoring, all right? It is, it's not alcoholic at all. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of ice about a cup or so, and blend until it's And you've got yourself a Colorado Peach Sunrise. The last drink I'm going to show you is a Pink Senorita. In a large pitcher, you wanna add two cups of ice, and to that you're gonna add two cups, two and a quarter cups, actually, of pink lemonade. And to that, you're going to add about a half a cup of triple sec, one cup of tequila, ooh, yes. And a quarter cup of lemon juice. All right, we're gonna give that a stir. And then we're gonna take a lemon wedge rim it around the glass and turn it upside down in either sugar or salt. Pour that into a nice margarita glass. Put a little slice of lemon on that. And look at that. Carolyn, those drinks looked very refreshing for one of our trademark sunny Colorado days or even a kind of overcast day like we've got today. Next up, let's enjoy another song from Jolly Demas. And as for a challenge while you watch, see how many Colorado cities and towns you can hear named in the song and share with us in the comments. Hi there, this is Jolly Demas. It's great to be back for another episode of the Parker Porch Party. And I guess we're celebrating Colorado Day. So I thought, what we, could we do for Colorado Day that says it better than this great Chuck Pyle tune done by my good buddy Jim Ratz and Runaway Express on this brand new CD that I just love called Small Towns. And Jim's nice enough to join us here on the Parker Porch Party. So come on down, All right, Jim. bring him on, bring him on. Come on in, Jim. No, wait a minute, I'm Jim. Hi, Jolly. Hi, Jim. How are you? It's a pleasure you? to see you. I'd like you to know that, that Chuck Pyle, who wrote this song, never made, the, made it through without goofing up. Well, we're liable to goof up, but luckily we're at the Parker Porch Party where anything goes. There we go. The soul of Colorado is in the little country towns. The ones out on the back road rather not be found. The ones you hitchhike into when your truck gets broken down. The ones where people say hello, welcome to our town. In towns like Bayfield, Cascade, Manitou, Palisade, Palmer Lake, Larkspur, Lake City, Gardner, Kiowa, Niwa, Walden, Walcott, Rico, Antonito, Peonia, Viacito, Firestone, Crestone, Romeo, Redstone, Red Wing, Greenland, Blue River, Yerevan, Villa Grove, Parachute, Hugo, Crescent Butte, Hudson, Gunnison, Millican, and Morrison. Now the heart of Colorado is in the Main Street Cafe. The kind of place a man can go and drink coffee on a rainy day. A place when you're too tired to cook. Everything is homemade A place to swap a story And pass the time of day 
Dows like Hodgkiss, Silver Cliff, West Cliff, Red Cliff, Kittredge, Cedar Ridge, Trinidad State Ridge, Rockvale, Idledale, Deer Trail, Carbondale, Uray, Ridgeway, Ryray and Gateway, Lyman, Yuma, Monument, Duma, Mountain View, Johnstown, Franktown, Jamestown, South Fork, Lake George, Del North, Dinosaur, Elchabel, Maybell, Bolmar, and Parker. Now the voice of Colorado is blowing in the wind. The one that tells the Aspen leaf it's time to flow again. The one down from Wyoming that blows the winter in. The one in March that lets us know springtime's roaring in. Towns like Julesburg, Strasburg, Gelberg, Walsenburg, Buena Vista, Yampa, Monte Vista, Blanca, Norwood, Cortez, Meeker, Dolores, Salt Creek, Cold Creek, Holyoke and Oak Creek, Clifton, Burlington, Silverton, Haxton, Gilcrest, Gold Hill, Rocky Ford, Platteville, Victor, La Vida, Clark and Naturita, Fair Play, Cotopaxi, Climax, Takes a Hat, Air. And now the soul of Colorado is in the little country towns. The ones out on the back roads that would rather not be found. The ones you hitchhike into when your truck gets broken down. The ones where people say hello and welcome. And welcome to our town, to our town. There we go. He only left out one town. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Great Thanks. job. Happy Colorado Day from all of us to the Parker Porch Party. Best of all. Thanks so much, Jolly. That was a really hard, track to, hard music to keep track of as far as how many towns I heard. But I think, I think I heard 97 towns mentioned. I definitely heard Parker for sure. Well, we hope everybody is enjoying the program. Before we sign off at 5.30, we sure hope you keep your party going. Sure to work on those Mayor's Challenge submissions and send us your pictures of your fun. Speaking of those who do great things in our community, we would love to give a quick shout out and a special thanks to another wonderful partner, Ent Credit Union. Thank you, Ent, for bringing us this next segment, Paul Barilla. Hey you, wake up. It's me, your great, great, great grandfather, Zebulon Buckskin Barillo. You probably don't remember much about me, but I'm here to tell you that you gotta stop lying around doing nothing. The clock is ticking on summer. You gotta get up off your keister and get busy. Ah, sure, there's a lot of things you can't do right now, but there's a lot of things you can do. So stop crying about things you can't do and start thinking about things you can do. Let's get busy. Here's some suggestions for you. Pick up the family and go visit the Great Sand Dunes National Monument. Maybe... You can go to Mesa Verde. Hmm? You could easily go see Red Rocks. Maybe, maybe down south to the Garden of the Gods. And if you're feeling real adventurous, take a river rafting trip. Right now, I'm going to get myself out and see some of the great places that I once did my fur trapping in. And I hear that running is a popular pastime today. Of course, in my time, we ran mostly to save our lives. Of course, things are tamer today. Perhaps I'll try jogging through Colorado. Maybe run over Loveland Pass. I hear they got a paved highway now. Well, that should make it easier. 
Well, I'm going to try me some high altitude jogging, followed by some white water rafting. Whatever you do, don't make me come back in time to set you straight again. You hear what I'm saying, son? Another fun segment there, Paul. I think you better listen to your great, great, great grandfather and get out there and enjoy all that Colorado has to offer. I personally made it to the Great Sand Dunes National Park for the first time last year, and it was pretty spectacular. I'd highly recommend getting out there if you haven't ever before. And now to get ready to venture out into the great outdoors, here's Gary Carnes with some tips to prepare for your next Colorado outing. Everybody. I am going for a nice long hike in these beautiful Colorado mountains and I am setting up my day pack to make sure that I have the supplies to have an awesome time. I divide these into three things, the essentials, the should haves, and the what ifs. Now, the essentials, carry them with me all the time. First off, water, make sure you have enough. Take your sunscreen and bug spray, very essential. Have a wide brimmed hat to keep both the sun and the rain off of you. And make sure to have your sunglasses. That's it on the essentials. Now let's talk about the should haves. These are the things that you should always have, but maybe sometimes you can get by without. I always say carry with you a first aid kit. It can be something as simple as a couple of band-aids and aspirin. You can make it more elaborate if you want. Make sure you have with you some food. Trail mix is called trail mix for a reason and some protein bars will keep your energy up. Last of the should haves is your Swiss Army knife. Now, too much to talk about now, but this is like geometry. You will be stunned how often you use it. Now let's talk about the what ifs. These are things that are very rare, but could happen. And what if they do? Will you be prepared? So the first thing is, what if you see a snake on the road? Here's what you do. Always make sure to have a bigger snake than is on the road. Now this is Reggie. He is an Egyptian desert viper, one of the most deadly on the planet. So what I like to do is keep Reggie just in my pack. Ugh. And if you see a snake, pull your Reggie out, throw him down, you'll be fine. What about, what if you are attacked by a bobcat? Now, if you're walking with other hikers, make sure to have a good pair of running shoes. Because remember, you don't have to outrun the bobcat, you only have to outrun the other hikers. What if you're alone? If you're alone and you hit a bobcat, carry with you. <coughs> a 40 pound bag of cat food. This will make sure the bobcat is well fed and doesn't want to dine on you. How about a bear? Now a lot of people don't know this, but bears are very social creatures. They're not going to attack another bear unless provoked. So I always carry with me, Bevan. This little guy has protected me more times than I can count. No bear will attack that face. Now I will say though, Bevan, most bears in Colorado, they speak grizzly. Bevan only speaks Paddington with a little bit of yogi thrown in. Now lastly guys, what if you get lost in the woods? This is the most terrifying. Late at night you get lost, this is what you do. Always carry with you your American Express gold card. With this little baby, you can get a hotel any place in Colorado. Well, that's it for my safety tips, guys. I hope this works for you. And guys, happy hiking.
Thanks, Gary. I was wondering where you went to with Carolyn mixing up all those cocktails earlier. I guess you were getting ready for your segment. I think I will leave the snake and the cat food at home, but I will certainly bring along my personal bed in next time I go hiking or maybe just my running shoes so I can outrun my husband. I want to thank our amazing and generous sponsors, Xfinity, the Outdoor Channel, Ant, and Parker Party America for partnering with us on this party tonight. Before we air our final entertainment portion for this evening, I want to turn it back over to Ryan for a few updates and announcements. Hey again, everyone. Coming up soon, we've got a sneak peek at the planned fall and winter town activities you definitely don't want to miss. And while I'm sad that we've almost concluded the porch party series, remember, we've got one final porch party coming up on August 22nd. I'm excited that we've had been able to come together as a community virtually during this unique time. We can't wait to see all of your mayor's challenge submissions. Remember, remember get those turned in by 630 tonight. And of course, all of those fun porch party pictures as well. And hey, Pensive Court, we've seen the number that you've already sent in tonight. So keep it up, everybody. Remember to submit all of your photo entries to B Spain at parkeronline.org to be entered into the various contests. And don't forget to include your street address with your entry. That way we can keep track for that grand prize. And remember, this is the last night that we're tabulating for that final porch party series grand prize block party. And we're gonna now transition into our final performance of this evening. Here are Debbie Lease and Eric Satie performing their original song, Colorado Moon. the cool 
Thank you so much, Debbie and Eric. And thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. We wanted to end this segment with a sneak peek of what we have in store for Parker this fall and winter. More information about these activities is going to be shared at our last porch party on Saturday, August 22nd. We'll see you then for more music, entertainment, prize giveaways, and the rollout of the Town of Parker's 2020 fall and winter activities. Bye guys. Bye everyone. Happy birthday, Colorado. Bye.